Alright, time for some magic. Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to teach you guys six magic tricks that you guys can use at bars, family events, picking up girls anywhere. Because what girl doesn't like magic tricks? Let's be real. Girls, you can pick up guys because guys like magic tricks too. Who doesn't like magic tricks? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So these six magic tricks that I'm about to teach you, you can learn them in literally 30 seconds. Uh, they are super, oh shoot, you know what, there's seven. There's seven. <laughs> Let's redo this. Seven simple magic tricks. Most likely, you guys are gonna have these materials in your house already. Uh, a lot of these you can do at the bar too, because these are stuff you could find at a bar. And you can get free drinks, or Chuck E. Cheese, get free tokens. <laughs> I don't know. So we're gonna get started. Uh, I do wanna cover something, because I talk a lot with my hands, and I don't want people to be like, bro, are you trying to be Rocky or something? Adrian! What happened here, was a result of one of these magic tricks that I'm about to teach you. It was very, very stupid. You're gonna want, like, adult supervision for this? You don't need adult supervision, but I stabbed myself in the hand last night and I had to rush myself to the doctor. Uh, <laughs> Cause there's nobody here, so I, I had like this bleeding hand. I was like driving, I had to get there fast. So for one of them, you may want to have at least somebody in the house in case things go wrong. <laughs> is when I shower, I have to put like a plastic bag over it. So it looks like I have this like no hand, just full skin. Like one long like horse hoof. Isn't that weird? I just thought it was so weird. I'm in the mirror, I'm like, whoa, dude, I'm half horse. My little horse hand. So let's get started. So for this first trick, what you're going to want to do is get some styrofoam cups. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, I'm making a styrofoam cup levitate. Oh, whoa. You gotta really focus. Whew. From the back, while people are talking, you're slowly gonna puncture it with your thumb, and you're gonna keep your thumb in there. Slowly release your hands, but your thumb is the prop that's gonna keep this styrofoam cup up. And you're just gonna move it, give it this like levitating motion, and it looks like it's floating. So this one is called the anti-gravity ring or bread clip. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take an elastic, you're gonna break it. So you're gonna then take a ring or a bread clip, you can take it off the viewer's finger, and you're gonna just feed it through, and you're gonna make it go uphill. So like this. You gotta do this one really slow, and just stare at it as if you're using your mind to control it. So the trick behind this one is, when you take the ring or the bread clip and you feed it through, you're gonna wanna distract them by talking to them. So you're just gonna hold the end like this, with two fingers, but on this end, you're gonna feed most of it in your hand, and you're just gonna stretch the elastic so it looks like it's back to its size. So you have it in your hand, and what you're slowly doing is just releasing the elastic, and it's just going up. But if you do it slow enough, it'll look like the bread clip is actually going uphill, or the ring. So for this one, you gotta go in like the corner of a room. You're gonna wanna have your heel facing the viewer, so you wanna have them, if they're standing there, kinda go on a diagonal angle like this. You're gonna keep your feet together. This one takes a little bit of balance, and you're just gonna slowly, like, go, uh, you can go even a little higher. Whoa. Just go like this. But they can't see that, because this foot's blocking it. Pretty good. For this trick, what you're gonna need is a water bottle and a quarter. You're gonna be taking this quarter, and you're gonna be putting it inside the bottle, but the cap is on, so there's no way for it to, Go in, you're gonna do it right in front of their face. You're gonna go three, two. Now the coin is inside. This is the trick that I actually cut my hand on. What you need to do is obviously cut a slit in the bottle. But when they're looking straight on, they're not gonna notice any slit on the side. That's why you're showing it this profile. And you're gonna go three, and you're just gonna drive it into the slit like that. But if you do it fast enough, it looks like it went right in. So for this trick, you can do this at like a McDonald's, you can do this at anywhere you can get straws with the paper wrapping. You're gonna rip the wrapping, and as you take it off, you're gonna kinda just really like rub it on the straw, and you're gonna create a static pull. No, you don't gotta be weird about it, like, hey man, you're gonna do this. Don't be freaking creepy. Rub the straw with the paper, and get static going, then take it off. And what you're gonna do is grab a bottle or whatever, and you're gonna put it on top and just rest there. And now you're gonna use the force and just be like. <sighs> See, so you can pull it using just the natural static from your hand. 
So it looks like you're using the force. You can spin the straw and just be like, ah. So for this trick, you're gonna need two quarters. You're gonna take your quarters. You're gonna say, hey guys.